Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Gary, on how we can add a little more control to our glow effect in Maya. Okay, so I'm going to open up Maya and the sample scene that I have here is just a couple of lightsabers with a couple blends applied to them. As we can see, we have our glow intensity turned up slightly. So let's go ahead and render this out. And as we can see, we have our glow effect on here. So I'm going to save this initial render so we can come back and compare later. Now, if we were to create something like an architectural material, we'll notice that there are no effect uh, glow options for this material. So in order to add some individual control, we're going to have to do this on our Maya materials. So I'm going to choose this orange lightsaber here. Let's take a look at how we can adjust more than just the intensity of this glow to get a little bit of different effect for just this one material. Okay, so to do this, we're going to want to set up a slightly different shading network. So I'm going to hop over to my Hypershade full screen here so we can see a little bit better. What I'm going to do is to drop in a ramp node. And I don't need all these different colors here, so I'm just going to adjust this to a, say, a white to black ramp. And if we notice the type is a V-ramp, so that's good to keep in mind because the next node we're going to create is a surface luminance. Now we're going to want to attach the surface luminance to the ramp node. So I'll middle click and drag this onto the ramp, choose other, and then change the out value from the surface luminance to the V coordinates since this is a V-ramp of my ramp. Okay, so now we're ready to plug our ramp into our blend material. So I'll just open up my blend and middle click and drag my ramp onto the glow intensity. Okay, so if we were to look at the connections now, this is how our shading network will look. Okay, so let's take a look at how this looks when we actually render this out. So we open up our render view and as we can see we're getting a very different effect on our one object. But what's cool is not only can we adjust the intensity the intensity is adjusted by changing this white value. So if I were to bring this way down, we can see that the overall glow value for just this one object is adjusted. But we can also adjust the position. So let's uh, say bring the glow back up a little bit and adjust the position of this. And we can see we're getting our glow effect just on the tip of this saber. So um, we really have a nice level of control. Now, since we can also come in and really just kind of play around with some of these settings to get a different look depending on what we're going for. So say we want to bump up the noise value. We can see we're getting a different style of glow th than we had before. Now, if we still need to add a metal ray architectural material to our objects, we could add that as a new material on a new render layer and then composite these back together. Or since the glow is a, in Maya is a post-process anyway, we may actually find that we get better results by applying the entire glow in post-production. But that all depends on what sort of look we're going for. So that's a quick look at how we can get some individual control of our glow effect directly inside of Maya.